how to be patient when you just don't feel like being patient. We know, you know, good things take time. That's what they tell us, right? I guess the bigger the goals, the bigger the destination, the bigger your blessing. There's going to be some time in between wanting and actually getting it. And that time period in between there is not really the most comfortable. It's honestly, it can be, it can be the, the most frustrating, hardest thing you have ever tried to enjoy. <laughs> it's like, enjoy the journey, enjoy the process. Yeah, how, you know, it's, it's not like we're living in a world where we just get up, have all the freedom to do what we want and then it will happen, right? So it's so hard to be patient when time is ticking and there's things that need to fall into place and maybe your creative goal just, you know, would solve a lot of problems. So it's that thing, you know, it's easy to be patient when you have all the time, but we don't feel like we have all the time because truly we don't, right? So I'm just trying to wrap my mind around this every single day. Um, there's this one thought that kind of helps me out. It doesn't make things better if I'm rushing it. I know it takes time. And actually, it's sort of out of my hands when it will happen. But one thing I know for sure is that if I learn to enjoy the process, the journey of going there as much as I can, I'm getting there in the fastest way possible. I'm not working against the clock, you know. It's like I'm running with it. I'm walking with it. So it's like if you're against the world, everybody's your enemy. You're probably not going to get there. But if, if you can turn your enemies kind of into the people beside you, you know, um, people you can communicate to, people you can, uh, like, not teach, but yeah, you know, kind of teach what they should do because obviously they're your enemies and they, you know they're doing sh they did some shit but kind of like even wish the best for them you know wish for them to be better wish for them to get better <laughs> yeah 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 so one thing is like i could already be so upset that i'm feeling kind of sick today and i had this really 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 bad nightmare and just generally i feel like i'm dead and there's actually nothing i could have done different like to improve that situation so at least not when it's already happening so that's one thing um that you learn to walk with patience whatever you desire is there for a reason so it's meant for you to happen if you keep on moving towards it if you keep on actually, you know, being open to everything on the way, you, you can't write the story out in a book and close the book and that's how your life is going to be. It will obviously unfold every single day on the way while you're walking. So you, you can't just paint the picture before you have mixed the colors together. You don't know how that will turn out. It's an empty canvas, right? You kind of have an idea but you don't know how it will go, right? So whatever journey you're on is, is most definitely that that's the place you got to be. You got to learn how to be patient first and then good things will happen. And I know that can be extremely hard if, if you have a lot of um, responsibilities, people depend on you, like you definitely deserve to have it all right now, I get it. But maybe it's just not happening because that's not how the universe works, right? That's not how you how you get things just because oh i deserve this this is just not getting you closer to him that's good because it's maybe strengthening your goals and it's making you get up in the morning and do things you know work towards it i've been working so hard on my patience which sounds already kind of funny because that's some work you can't see but it's like i'm teaching myself to be more patient i'm teaching myself to know all right right now it's time to be patient again right i'm still working i'm still doing things but I'm not getting frustrated, mad, upset, you know, I'm not getting so dysregulated just because something has not been working out when I know I have put all my effort into it. When I know that this is maybe out of my hands, it wasn't supposed to be working out this day. So that's when I, I turn on the patience again. Like, <laughs> I know this is the moment to be patient. You're, you're not just gonna get up tomorrow and have it. That's not how it works. So 
take that away from yourself. You know, it's not it's not inside of you to decide. Oh, I will have this in two days. You can't decide that, but you can do your very best to show that you're worthy of it, to act, and that's your goal, and that's something you desire, and you have it for a reason, and therefore you're moving towards it. End of the day, you might even have it in two days, right? But I feel like patience comes first. It's learning to walk with it, not running through the storm, but walking with it. Imagine the strength it takes to to walk in such a situation, no matter what you're going through right right now, it might be really, really tough. People depend on you. You have to get things fast. At the end of the day, you have to walk with it in order to get there faster. It's like slow down to speed up the process of getting there. And that's what patience is. And that's why it's so hard. And it's also hard because you can't see how you work on your patience. You can't see that you, you get up and you do it again and you're staying calm and all that inner work is is really hard. It's actually work and it's the work you can't see. So I feel like that's already some sort of um, strength of mind. It's strengthening your mind because you're putting in work where other people don't even understand that you're working on. Like, what are you doing? Like, you know, um, that's something you've got to do for yourself because it's hard to explain to anyone. I'm already struggling with a camera. This is sort of truly like a journal, but only because I feel like I've been working on this. I've been telling people, hey, yo, I'm trying to be, I've been trying to be more patient with myself. I'm telling myself that, like, I'm going through this every single day in my mind because it's so hard for me. It's one of the really hard things for me because every single year I wanted something and I feel like I never got it, right? And after 10 years, you're like, all right, um, what am I doing wrong? But you're not supposed to get mad or upset. Maybe it wasn't your time. I love that saying that the the biggest blessings take the longest. But that's true. Maybe it wasn't your time to have all of this 10 years ago. Maybe your time is just around the corner. So you wouldn't want to stop now. You're a stronger person. You're working on yourself. You're doing all the inner work. You're working on being more patient with yourself. Becoming that strong person. End of the day, if your goal is so big, you, you don't want to have that goal and not be mentally strong enough to carry it. You know, you don't want to have it all and realize it's falling apart because you're not that strong person. So I feel like if if you're in this season season of your life where you realize that you've got to be patient. And if you're in this season in your life where you feel like, oh, damn, like I'm not getting this right now. I have to be patient. I have to keep walking. I actually have to work on myself, you know, to get there. The work in silence, that's what your goal demands in the end. One of those things is that you got to learn patience. So it's just like manifesting things in your life. Don't run from it. If you are clearly shown that it's your time to slow down and be patient, learn how to walk with it. <laughs> it sounds easy, it's not. It's one of those things that you really got to do for yourself because you want to get there, right? Nobody else has that goal. You're the one who has that goal. So that's the path you're on. So you're doing it for yourself. It's it's a sign of self-love. Maybe you don't want to see it that way, but hey, um, that's why it's important to learn that. It's, we're put on different challenges, and that's one of those. So no matter how much you want it, how much you deserve it, Patience comes first. If you haven't done the inner work, you gotta you gotta admit to yourself that you gotta do it. And nah, that's that's a way of talking that's a bit too honest. So I like to I like to say it a little bit different. Learn how to walk with it. Don't run a race. Don't run away from it. Because if you're running away from patience, it's always gonna catch up to you. It's gonna show up clearly in your life that things are not working out for you. Gotta try again. But if you learn how to walk with it, you actually walk next to patience. You walk next to fear. You keep everything aligned, everything around you. You're like, you know, you're walking the right way. You're getting there the fastest way possible. And if you're doing everything, you're doing great. Well, okay. The fastest way is to move through it. Not hide away from it. Not say, like, oh, I don't need that. You know, 
Another one that I call running away from patience, running away from the actual work that you got to do is putting in more work, is overworking. It's overworking because it's not self-care. You're not ready to get that goal because hard work does not lead to more success or more money. There's no connection like that. You can overwork yourself forever to get a little bit of money to buy food but not more than that. So that's just not leading to the place where you want to go to. And so just me saying that because um, that's how I grew up. I grew up thinking, oh, the more work you do, the more you overwork. The <laughs> That's actually good. Like, that's how I grew up thinking. Like, that's how you're getting there, right? No matter what, beat yourself up. <laughs> like, not, not um, saying it like that, but that's the mindset I kind of had. I think it definitely, I took a year to change that, to definitely um, realize that slowing down and walking with patience and learning that you got to work on yourself too is the hard work. Because sometimes I feel like it's not that hard to get up and do the hard, like heavy lifting, the obvious work, you know. Um, let's say you, you go to the garden, cut all the grass, that's the obvious work. Like, you start doing it now, and you're going to be finished, obviously, in the amount of time that it takes to cut all the grass. And, well, no matter how hard it is, whatever you did in the garden, let's just say like that, no matter how hard it was, you have that visual thing that, oh, the work is done. You can see the work, right? Oh, look at me. Look what I've done. But that's something you're not getting when you're working on yourself. That's something you're not getting when you're spending the day on your bed, um, working on your patience, <laughs> learning to walk with it. That's just, you know, no gratification, no validation like that. No outside validation. No one's going to tell you, oh, wow, today you look fine. Did you work on your... <laughs> Nobody sees that unless, well, you're glowing maybe, but glowing from the inside out <laughs> eventually for sure. But that's the thing, like, it's another thing you're learning that you're not getting this gratification for yourself and nobody from the outside is going to validate it because nobody sees you, the work that you have done unless, obviously, I don't know, <laughs> you, you post diary videos on YouTube, but still no one's going to really see it because it's, uh, it's just not visible, right? It's not tangible. So only you know what you desire, only you yourself can know what truly is your um, destination in this lifetime like you know everybody's on a journey and whatever it is that you deeply desire is there for a reason so you gotta go after that thing I guess mental strength comes really first that's something we gotta develop so being shown that you have you gotta be patient is one of those little things on the side that's actually something big because that's doing the inner work that leads there eventually it's not only patience, it's a lot of things that come into play, but that's something I realized and I've been putting in hard work to be patient. <laughs> anyway, walking with fear and patience, I guess that pretty much defines what this whole year is about for me. Right? Just a thought I want to share. Make sure that you write your own story with your own pen. Don't let nobody take that pen from you and see you in the next video then. All right. Thank you for watching.